Hello, hello! Welcome back! It's time for my June TBR! Well, I'm super excited because, first of all, I have a buddy reading and I love buddy reading so much. And I'll read it with my special friend that I love so much also. And it's uh, Bug at the Buggy. We will read together A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Woo, I'm so excited about this book. <laughs> and I'm excited to exchange comments with her. <laughs> okay, then I'll do a readathon because I love readathons. And I'll, uh, there's so many readathons in June. I was, it was hard to choose, but finally I started to just make one because it's easier in the vlogs. And I did some, a lot of, I have did two of them in May and it, I didn't really follow up with it, so I chose just one and I'll make vlogs about it because I've made some characters, you'll, you'll know why. Okay, so I've decided to take the uh, Take Your Myth Taker Readathon and it's about creating a fantasy character, but you, you're not obligated to read fantasy book, you can read whatever book you want, but the goal is to create a fantasy character and you have choices of path you can become. I'll give I'll give you an example here so you can have like the first one you have to do the so for the first one you have to do the four steps and the second one you do the second column and everything. First of all here is my character well the start of her is her name is Layla and she will we'll start at start at this and she will live some adventures, she will face some challenges, and you will see she will change over time. So follow my vlogs and you will see how she will change and how she will become. I'll tell you a little bit about it, but not too much. The first path that I've chosen is the assassin path. So the first prompt for the assassin path is you have to ask a friend to choose for you a book. And I asked Bug and she chose Little and Lion. It's a book by Brandy Colbert and there is a queer representation in it. There's a love triangle and there's a bipolar representation in it. So maybe polyamorous, but I'm not sure. So I'm really excited about this one. It's the first one I'm free. Then we have to choose a dark cover. So I've decided to read The Ninth House by, you can see his name because I haven't wrote it. <laughs> and I have to tell you, you will see I have a lot of ebooks in June it's because I've placed some holds at the library and I'm super organized. So I was like, okay, this hold is in two weeks, this one in three weeks, in four weeks, in five weeks, so we'll have the book one after the other and it will be fine. But what happened isn't exactly that. I received all the holds at the same time, so I had to choose the dates. And uh, yeah, in May I received all the holds, so some of them I placed it at the beginning of June and some of them at the middle of June so like I have to read them because I placed an all on them but I wasn't planning on reading them all at the same time but I have to do this so that's why I read I will read a lot of book from the library in June but it's okay the third prom is a secret book so I won't tell you about it. Well, what I'll do is in my vlog, I will tell you about it without saying too much and without saying the title and the other. So that will be kind of funny. You'll have to guess which book it is. <laughs> then the last prompt is a quick read. So I've chosen theirs for the night because there's a polyamorous representation and it's only, I think, 73 pages. Okay. But for books, it's not a challenge, right? Well, for me, it's not, it's not a challenge. So I will continue. After being an assassin, Layla will go on her mercenary path. And in the mercenary path, 
there's we have to uh, choose an anticipated read so i've chosen a book i'm really really excited about and i received recently and it's white cat by gp arker oh, i received it as a gift and i'm so excited to uh, to read it because i've heard good comments about it and i'm just like yay it's kind of a big book but it's okay then we have to choose a weapon a book that has a weapon on the cover so another hold i've placed I will read as a wood. I don't remember too much what, what this book is about. I think it's about like a special wood who has some mysterious and horrific things in it. And it caught my attention. <laughs> then the third prom is a book that features a magic ball battle. This one I'm not so sure about it, but I've chosen the puppy war. And I know it's not only about a magical battle, but at the end of the synopsis, it says that she has some mythic power or things like that. So I guess she will use them. And I'm really also excited about this book because everybody's talking about it and I want to read it. And also it seems kind of dark. So yay, I will like it. Then... Technically, there's a last prom for mercenary, but no, no, no. My character, Layla, she will discover magic, like the character in the puppy war, and she will become a witch. So for the witch, the last thing I have to do to become a witch is choose a book with occult theme. So I, I cho I've chosen a book that has some kind of contemporary and magic in it. And this is Dorothy Must Die Story by Daniel Page. And, well, Daniel Page wrote a book that is called Dorothy Must Die. And it's about how, like, Dorothy became the... Well, it's about a book where Dorothy is like an evil witch in Oz. And the stories are like the prequel of it. So it's a story of when she went back to Kansas and wasn't satisfied, so she go back in Oz and then do some things and become a witch. I don't know how, but that's the stories of it. There are six stories before the Dorothy Must Die books, and I've decided to read those six stories before. This book is the first three ones, and then there's the, the other three, and then there's the book. So. Yes, I'm excited about this because it's kind of a dark retelling and I love dark retelling. Yay! So, that's about it for June. If I have the time, I will start the reread of my favorite series of all time. And that's Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. So the first one is The Eye of the World. And it's big books. And I'm like, oh, hello. It's made it by it. But... I mean, <clears throat> I've read like the six first books, then I stopped, and it's been like eight or nine years ago, so I can't remember anything. The way I started again, I will try to start it this month, but I know that when I'll start reading it, I have to read the others, <laughs> it's like 14 books in the series, so yeah, that's my If I Have Time book. <laughs> I'll tell you more about it as it goes. And you know what? In June is my birthday month. And I love my birthday because it's the first day of the summer. The longest day of the year. So yeah, it's like June 21st. And oh, I'm so excited. Of course, I've asked books for my birthday. So I don't know what I'll receive. It, it's gifts or it's surprises. But maybe there will be another big all in June. Yes. Yeah. See you another time. Ciao.